October 29th, 2020 fluency. If you bought nine cans of soup, two loaves of bread, 11 bottles of juice, and two gallons of milk, and gave the cashier three $20 bills and a $10 bill, how much change would you receive? All right, so let's do it. So nine cans of soup. Let's see how much nine cans of soup is going to be. So I'll put this in pink. So nine cans of soup. Well, soup costs $2.29. So we're going to take that $2.29 and we're going to multiply it by nine. We're going to ignore that decimal to start. $2.29 times, and we are also not going to line up any decimals. Um, so we bought nine cans of soup, so we're going to multiply it by nine. All right, so for our soup, $2.29 times nine. Nine times nine is 81. I'm going to drop that one, carry that eight. Uh, nine times two is 18 plus eight is going to be 26, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Yes. I'm going to carry that two, drop that six. 9 times 2 is 18 again, plus 2 is going to be 20. Now, there's nothing to, um, we don't need to put a placeholder 0, but we do need to count in our decimals. So, we're going to see how many places in. So, in 1, in 2, so in 2 total. So, if we go in 2, we're going to go in 2 here. So, 1, in 2. All right, Oop. we need a new one. In 1, in 2. Ah! Come on. All right, so we'll go in one and two there. Um, so that decimal is going to go in between that zero and that six. So to buy our soup, it is going to cost us $20.61. So I'm actually going to move this over here for the soup. Um, so I know that that soup is going to cost us $20.61. Now I am going to um, delete that so I have a fresh page. So now we have two loaves of bread. You can even show your work on a piece of paper um, just because I'm showing it on the screen. Therefore, I can't really show you um, me doing it on a piece of paper. Uh, so two loaves of bread. So if we have bread, it costs $1.59, $1.59. Um, we're going to multiply that by two because we're going to buy two loaves of bread. So $1.59. We're going to ignore that decimal, remember? And we're going to multiply by two. Um, all right, so whoop. <laughs> this 2 times 9 is going to be 18. I'm going to carry that 1, drop that 8. Uh, 2 times 5 is going to be 10, plus 1 is 11. Carry that 1, drop that 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1, plus 1 is going to be 3. Now, the decimal, how many spots does it go in? Let's take a look. In 1, in 2. So we're going to do in 1, in 2 from the bottom here, and it will go between that 3 and that 1. So for 2 loaves of bread, um, I'm going to mark this that we did this one. 2 loaves of bread is going to be, whoop, 2 loaves of bread is going to be uh, $3.18. So I'm going to mark that. So I know if I buy 2 loaves of bread, so this is how much we're buying. All right, and then we have 11 bottles of juice. So 11 bottles of juice. Uh, so the juice is $2.29. So I have $2.29. $2.29 times 11. So we're buying 11 of them. So times 11. All right, 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 2 again is 2, and then now we need to put a placeholder 0 because we're done with this 1, we're moving over a place value, so 1 times 9 is 9, 1 times 2, 2, 1 times 2, 2, now we're going to add them together, add them up. Add them up. All right, so we have 9 plus 0, 9. 9 plus 2 is going to be 11. I'm going to carry that 1, drop that 1. Nine plus, or 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And then 2 plus 0 is 2. 
Let me move my person down a little bit. Now, how many places in for that decimal? Let's take a look. In one, in two. So we're going to go in one, in two in our final answer. Um, so we have $25.19. $25.19 for juice. All right, so we did our juice. Almost done, you guys. Almost done. All right, so I'm going to mark that as done. Now we have two gallons of milk. So milk is $2.89. So $2.89. And we are buying two gallons of it. So one gallon of milk is $2.89. So we're going to multiply that by two. All right, now we have... Doo -doo -doo. Ah, we don't want my whoa person to go away. Okay, so let's take a look. 2 times 9 is 18. Um, carry that 1, drop that 8. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So I'm going to carry that 1, drop that 7. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Now how many places for that decimal? Let's take a look. In 1, in 2... Whoa. So we're going to go in one, in two in our final answer. So our decimal is going to go between that five and seven. So $5.78 for milk. All right. So now with all these prices, ah, I'm going to send this to you back. There we go. Okay. So with all these prices now, we have, um, do, do, do. Let's take a look at our next part of the problem. So our next part, so we did that two gallons of milk. Um, so they gave the cashier three $20 bills and a $10 bill. So if I have three $20 bills, that's $20, $40, $60. And then I have a $10 bill, that's $70 total. So they gave the cashier $70. So I'm going to put this 70 up here. So $70 is what they gave the cashier. We need to figure out how much change they'll receive. So first of all, we can add up all of these, um, all of these numbers. So we can add them up, and then we can subtract it from that seventy. Whoop. So I'm going to take all these numbers, and I'm going to add them up. I'll put this back over here. Do, do, do. All right. So I'm going to take these numbers and add them all up. Now, when I am adding and subtracting decimals, remember we do need to line up those decimals. We do need to line up those decimals. So they are a little bit off here. Um, that's okay. All right. Whoop. Ah, here we go. All right. So when we add them all up, all right, there we go. Much better. Okay. So one plus eight is going to be nine. Nine plus nine is 18. Plus 8 is going to be 26. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Yep. So 26. All right. Now 6 plus 2, 7, 8, 9, 10 plus 7 is 17. 1, 7. All right. Drop that decimal. Drop it like it's hot because we're adding. All right, now 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 3 is going to be um, 4, plus 5 is 9, plus 5 is going to be 14. So I'm going to carry that 1. Whoop. I'm going to carry that 1 over here and drop that 4. It's 14, right? Yep, 5, 10, 13, 14. Yes. Uh, so 2 plus 1 plus 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. All right, so now the total was $54.76, but we need to subtract that from our $70 total that we had. So the $70 that we had total, I'm going to move that up there. Um, that $70 we had total, we are going to subtract it. So we are going to take minus $54.76. So $70 total. I'm going to move this. We do need to line up our decimals. Remember, we can turn any whole number into a decimal by just at putting a zero right behind it. So $70.00. And, and we are going to subtract because we're trying to figure out the change, the change. 
So we're going to subtract here. All right, 0 minus 6, can we do that? Um, no, we can't do that. So we're going to have to borrow. Oh, we're going to have to borrow. Oh, we're going to have to borrow all the way from that 7. So I'm going to cross out that 7. And that 7 becomes a 6. To make this 0 a 10. Whoop, I need to grab a 10 from another slide. That's okay. Oh, let's grab it from this slide over here. Do, do, do. Here we go. I'm going to grab this 10. I'll put it in on your slides. All right, so I am going to make that a 10. Now, since I made that a 10, we can borrow from that 10, or from that 0 made, became a 10. Now we can borrow from that 0, or that 10, to make it, whoop. Here, I'm going to put these to the back. There we go. Um, so that 10 will become a 9. Now I can make this 0 a 10. So that 0 becomes a 10. Now I can make that 10 a 9 to make this 0 a 10. Woo. Alrighty. So now we have that. Uh, we can have 10 minus 6 is going to be 4. 9 minus 7. It's going to be uh, 2. Drop that decimal. Drop it like a tot. Um, then we have 9 minus 4. So 9 minus 4 is 5. And 6 minus 5 is 4. Or 1. My bad. 6 minus 5 is 1. So the change that we will receive is going to be $15.24. That's kind of a pretty good deal. Um, $15.24 in change. We will get back. All right, I'm going to make that a little bigger. I'll put that in green because that's our answer. And that is it for our um, fluency. Great job.